Today we'll be learning on this channel how to make uh, this basket design as you can see right there on the thumbnail okay so here is our basket design and we have our center front here so we just made this um, we are, I'm going to show you how to achieve this design can you see the basket designs and you'll be having this on your fabric as it is on the design on the thumbnail so if this is what you want to learn please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you so today's tutorial we'll be making this um, beautiful basket design we have on an off shoulder gown so here you can see i've already made some sketches to show you how I, uh, to go about this uh, design okay so this is a subscriber's request and I decided to make this video to show you how to perfectly achieve this beautiful basket design. So right here, I have my shoulder line. And I've already taken my basic bodies from the shoulder to the chest line. So we are just working on the chest line. Okay, so the line I have here is the chest line. We don't need any of these lines. Okay. So the highest I can do is if you are making this dress after your chest line, you are going to determine your desired uh, length. So if my desired length is to be the full length of this paper, then I will extend my line a little bit to it. But our focus is on the chest line. So what I'm going to do, this is my, my uh, chest line and this is my bust divided by four exactly so i'm just going to do a little a line what i mean by little a line is to transfer my hip measurements okay i'm transferring my hip measurement to the hem and i'll just add two inches to it because we we'll still you know add a little more allowance to it to pleat the gown as you can see right there on the thumbnail so let me leave it at, at this to so I can use it to show you what to do. So this is the center front of this. This is the chest line as you can see. So the first thing we want to do is to determine how deep you want your neckline to be. So for this particular neckline, from my natural neckline, I want it as deep as 2 inches. Okay, if you want it deeper, it's your choice. Then from the tip of the shoulder, I'll come down by 1 inch. So once I do that, I'm going to connect my line. I'm connecting my this line. That's the neckline from that shoulder line to the one inch. So once that is done, I'm going to measure the width of the basket. That is the uh, position at which I want the basket to be. So I want the width of this basket to be 4, 4 inches. So I'll just mark 4, 4 inches for the basket design. So once I've marked the 4, 4 inches, before I connect my 4 inches, remember this is an off shoulder. And for off shoulder designs, we have a calculation for off shoulder. If you have been following Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel, you notice that our shoulder measurements for the off shoulder calculation the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 15. you are going to divide it by two you have 7.5 and that 7.5 is exactly what i use to draft my basic bodies up until this line you are seeing so the calculate the uh, principle of off shoulder says once you divide your shoulder by two which is what I have here, minus by 2 or 1.5. So because we don't have a dot for this, I decide to minus by 2 inches. So I have 5.5 because I don't have, if I have a dot here, you know how we do it, we we'll just minus by 1.5, but that is okay. All right, so I'll just go in from this. I'm keeping my, uh, my tape straight, okay? Make sure you keep it straight. To touch the 5.5 has to touch any line. Yeah, provided it's straight, you have to keep it in a way that it touches this line. So I raised it up a little bit because if I keep here, I will not see the line to mark. So I'm positioning it in a way that it touches 
the center front line and touches this line. So this is my mark of the line. And that is where my off shoulder is going to be cut from. So from here, I'm going to connect my off shoulder sleeve, reconnect my off shoulder sleeve. You know how we re usually reconnect our off shoulder. So that is what I'm doing right here. Okay, so I've reconnected my off shoulder sleeve right away. So the next I want to do is to start the basket design. Remember, we've already made our basket lines. The 4 4 inches I told you. So, what all you need to do now is to start the connection of the 4 4 inches appropriately. So, from here, I'll connect my 4 inches. I'll keep moving because I want to get, get it on the shape. On the same shape we have right here. So, here I have connected my uh, my uh, basket so I will divide four inches by two by two which is which will give me two inches and I'm going to also make another two inches mark so this time around let me just go by another marker so I'll come to the two two inches which is the midline of my basket and I'm going to connect my line I've gotten the midline because if you look you will see, notice that we have different colors uh, up and down. Up has different color, down has different color, up has different color. Like that, like that, okay? So, I'm going to make a mark. I'm going to mark out how the basket is going to be designed. As we have it on the thumbnail, from the tip of this, I mark one inch. And from the tip of this, I mark another one inch so what i did is just dividing this box again now i'm going to start marking my one one inch depending on the width of what we are what you are making okay for this class we are using one one inch one one inch graduation if you want to make 1.5 just do the same thing i'm doing right here but of course you know uh, the size of the bodies you are making for Okay, if you are making this for smaller size, you might go by 0 0.75 graduations. So you have to be creative to know what exactly you are doing. So now, I will also divide this line. Okay, all the lines are going to be divided by 1 1 inch. So I'm going to divide 1 inch, 1 inch, 1 inch, 1 inch, 1 inch, like that. So it's time to start connecting. So I'm connecting from down to up, from down, from up to down, like that. Okay, let me just connect the lines I have here. Let me just connect them. So I'm just connecting the one, one inch, okay? And this, at this point, you also come down by another one inch and mark so you can be able to connect. So that is how the, the styling goes. So for this, I'll start connecting this way, that way, that way, that way, like that. Okay? So... That is what we have here, and that is what the styling looks like. So next is to cut off what we have on the dress. So this is the part that will be slashed and spread, uh, so to speak, to have the gathers, as you can see. So I'm cutting exactly the dress. What we have here now is exactly how the dress is going to be. So you'll be drafting an off-shoulder sleeve that suits this okay so to attach to the sleeve so this is my center front line and i'm going to cut it off now the main business is what we have right here so please ensure you make your mark to show that this is on full so i'm going to simply cut out the basket design this is the basket design. I'll simply cut it out. And this is my off shoulder. Uh, the dress that will be attached here. 
So for this part, we will simply divide it by two and slash and spread. So the slashing we are making right here, I will just cut this. I will cut this one. I will cut this two. So it depends on how much pleating you want to put. Note that this part will also be on full. Okay, when you'll be working on this, yeah, it has to be on full. So you are going to divide. Okay, I'm using this as an example for you. So if you divide and place on your fabric on fold, you space it as much as you wish to space. Okay, let me keep it like this. Okay, make sure you draw a line where these two will be sitting on your slash and spread paper or on your fabric. Make sure you draw a baseline. Then all you need to do is, be pu is to be pushing, you know, to give that pleating allowance okay so later you can pleat it back into this so like i said the main purpose is this and that is where we are concentrating on so now we want to start up our design so for this design i'm going to take the width i have that is one one inch one one inch everywhere one one inch everywhere the length I have, I'm going to take the maximum length I have because I'm going to cut everything. I have three, so I'm going to cut length four with 1.5 times two. That is three. This is what I mean, length four. So this is how you are going to mark it on your, once you place on your fabric, unfold. After a stain, add your... 0 0.5 seam allowance to the sleeve. Please take note of that. You know we are not uh, sewing this. But with this paper illustration, if you follow video instructions, of course you are going to get this. And I want you to also send your comment on the comment section to tell us how it went. So what we are going to cut now is length 4 inches. This is 4 inches length. Okay. So I'll just mark out my length four four inches because the whole the maximum we measured here the maximum we measured there is three so let me mark four four inches four four inches so i'll just rule a line because that is where we are going to cut so if this is your fabric you'll be cutting length four inches with three inches okay so this length 4 inches with 3 inches will be on fold. So you know we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 2 because it's on fold. So you are, you are going to make this 26 number. So it's not actually a small work right here. So I'm marking 3, 3 inches. I'm marking 3, 3 inches. I'll just use this few to show you how it goes so that is it and that is it all right people so i'm going to cut now if i wish to make more lengths i'll go ahead and extend my my pepper okay so let me start with this first so if this is your fabric, that is how you mark your fabric after you have hasted your fabric. Make sure you haste it so you keep your fabric stable. So we want to start now and I'll pick up one. Okay, this is one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I'll pick up one right now. This one, now, I'll go over to my machine. I'll place it on fold and sew. Sew it and turn. I'm going to sew and turn, okay? So it's, it's neat for us. So the first length, according to what we have on the thumbnail, will start from up to place in words. So you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, sorry, we have to place it this way. Okay, I just want you to watch what I'm doing. This thing, what I'm doing right here is exactly what you will use your fa fabric to do. So by the time you have sewn these two together, it means I'll use my gum 
to pretend that my sewing okay so you face you have to face this way can you see so i'm facing right on the line okay first line i face this way so this is the excess we are supposed to have so that excess goes in okay this way so i'm going to I'm going to gum it now. Okay, so that's number one. You allow it cross and you allow it align on this line. Okay, so it means you are going to stitch, stitch on it. You are going to stitch, measure one inch as you are stitching. You go to your machine right now as you are placed. You'll be measuring from this point one inch and stitch it down. Okay then after that we'll come over to the this one that goes this way we'll go to our machine